What is up the world? It is your friendly neighborhood Slipgator here hanging out today doing stuff and things playing more factor uh, Satisfactory. Thank you so much for coming to hang out with me today guys Thanks for showing your support in the previous videos. You guys are unbelievable and amazing Make sure if you like what you see today, don't forget show your support smash the thumbs up button If you're new and you haven't already don't forget to subscribe as well and special shouts to people who support the channel on patreon you guys are unbelievable and amazing. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to need some hot power action over here. How many power deals do you got over there? Three out of four. Why don't we squirt this down over here? Uh, pop a sexy power line over to that guy. You can go there. You can go there. And then hopefully the power system doesn't crap out on us. Maybe. Hopefully. How many sword slots do we have? How many of these guys do we have? Uh, we're going to have to go ahead and remove this guy. We're just expanding our copper production over here a little bit real fast. I figured we would do this just so that we could kind of take advantage of the maximum amount of stuff and things while we're doing stuff and things. Conveyor merger. Let's squirt it out right here. Today, we're going to be working on getting more organized. It is going to be so friggin' good. And um, yeah, there's going to be some other stuff in these we're doing. I think we're going to try to get screws online today. I'm not exactly sure. We might also do some exploring. Uh, let's get storage and line that guy up right there like that. Work you into here. All right. So, yeah, we were backing up on copper. We had way too much over here. And actually, I think even still, we might have too much copper. We might be able to split this into three. I'd have to watch this for a minute as it does stuff and things. But for now, it looks like we are doing okay here. Yeah, the reason this isn't backed up over here is this probably isn't at 100 yet. But it will be. And double the wire production. Ladies and gentlemen, it's unbelievable and amazing. I also did, unbeknownst to you, wait, yeah, increase the production of our um, concrete over here. We doubled that bad ombre up, and we should have a bunch inside of storage right there. And I did run the game for maybe like an hour in between the last episode and this one. So we should have some more iron rods and more steel plates now, too. Yeah, whole batch load. How many? Looking good. Feels good. So we can start to expand the base even more and do more stuff and things. But uh, before we do that, there's a couple things I want to check. Let's check out our power system. Ooh, oh, dude, we're right on the edge. So we're going to have to add another bio. Uh, what are these guys even called? Biomass burners, pardon me, if we want to get more power going for right now. We're working our way up to getting coal done. But to start with today, I'm going to go ahead and get this next unlock going. 500 of those guys. Utility ready for launch. Nailed it, Ace to Can't Be Stopped. Utility milestone. Milestone reached. You have unlocked several structures aimed to provide the first needed to build basic factory infrastructure. Additionally, the biofuel blueprint will ensure improved fuel consumption of biomass burners. Into space! Additionally, you can now build the space elevator, which is integral to your contribution to project assembly. All right, space elevator. That's going to be something we absolutely need to build. If you guys remember from me and John's series, it's, all, it's pretty freaking great. How much uh, sort? Uh, it's pretty freaking great, but we're going to need way, way more space to get this done. So we're going to have to start doing some expansion. Let me go ahead and grab a huge, huge amount of concrete there. And then what we're going to do next is start placing down uh, a ton more foundations. So foundations like so. Um, I want to expand out this direction towards the west. I want to expand this direction towards the south. I couldn't see it. My overlay was in the way. So we're going to start to kind of get some of these guys up and running right here. And we've got to make a night. I mean, the space elevator is absolutely amazing. Let me show you how big it is. Like, it's ridiculous. Special space elevator. Look at this thing, man. If you've never seen it before, it's ridiculously huge. So we don't have the chainsaw still, I don't believe. So we're not able to get any of these trees out of the way. Let's just double check and see. Do we have the chainsaw? I don't think I can see the next upgrade either until... Um, our little spaceship deal comes back, and we have just one minute before that happens. Popping over here. No, beacon, object scanner, Xeno Zapper, and portable miner of all are all we have. So, yeah, I'm feeling like this is the area we're going to expand in. Now, before we do that, let me show you. Uh, C, iron ore. I think we have right there. Two nodes. Very, very close. We're going to utilize those guys. So, we want to make sure we leave this area open um, so we can do that. I think down over here is where we're going to fit the space elevator. I think there's a nice, good open area there. And the biggest thing I want to make sure, or one of the things I want to make sure when we're doing our expansions here, um, I know that compactness is kind of important to some people. And I want to do things efficiently for sure, but I'm not trying to make the base too compact. 
Um, I want to make it so it's just the right amount of compact. Efficiency, I think, is more important for me than the compactness because it doesn't necessarily make it that much more efficient. We're making sure we're using our splitters and mergers and doing stuff um, in a nice and efficient manner, I think, is more important for me. So, yeah, that's going to be the first order of business here. So, let me get our foundations going here. We'll maybe get another upgrade going. We will be our beast, peeps. Under cover of darkness, I do believe. Wait, where are you? We have made enough stuff and things. We're almost kind of near to out of concrete. But look at the expansion, baby. All of the space now. Huge amounts of space for our space elevator. And we can actually come over here go like this, like this. When we unlock that chainsaw, we will be able to get all these trees taken care of for sure. Like that and like that. All right, that's a decent amount of space. All right, let's pop over here and just get the next upgrade going. I think I'm probably going to need some more plates and some more rods too. Yeah, I have a huge amount of copper in my inventory right now. Let's go ahead and grab these guys. Let's get a one, two, three, and then grab these guys. I never put the copper back in the storage, but that's all right. We'll use a bunch of it up right here. Let's pop over here. We're trying to make our way, really, we're trying to force our way into um, the chainsaw and especially coal as fast as we can. I am going to go. I don't have to go in order. I could go to obstacle clearing right now. Um, you know what? I think I'm going to. Let's go pop, uh, pop inside of here real quick. We need some more reinforced iron plates. Like a so. All right, let's just do this, man. Let's go straight into tier two obstacle clearing. Select that milestone. We need two hundo rods, uh, ten of these bad hombres, two fifty cable or two hundred and fifty uh, copper, and then fifty cable. Bam, he's done it. All right, sweet. Milestone reached. Additional to an inventory expansion, you are now capable of removing foliage that consists primarily of wood. All right, so this is the big, big moment in our technological advancement. We're making all the screws. We're making some screws. Like so. And let's see. Can we make the chainsaw? The oldie chainsaw. Bam, he's done it. We got the chainsaw, baby. But wait, we're going to need chainsaw fuel as well. I don't think we have any. You can see the little flashing deal over there. Are you still going to expand the saw? There it is, baby. All right, so we need biofuel to make this happen. Now, let's check and see here. Down to 60. Seven. Let's just grab 200 biomass and let's pop over here and make the biofuel that we're going to need. We can make 100. There we go. Now you're cooking with grease. Pop into this 100 biofuel. Now, when me and John did our playthrough, let's clear some trees, baby, first of all. We needed ours. We made a whole biofuel creation area. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to do that or not. I think we probably will. But straight away, we really don't need it. And like I said, we're going to try to move into coal as fast as we can. So we just don't really need a ton of biofuel. Pretty sure you can run the trucks off of coal. Um, I know you can run them off of biofuel as well. Uh, and the only thing you really need it for, I think, is the chainsaw. Get these guys out of here. Oh, my God. Feels good, man. Cut it down. Deforestation. Rip the indigenous population. Come here. There we go. Jeez Louise. All right, that guy's out of here. You guys are out of here. Grab all that. Cut these trees. Oh, feels good. Cleaning up the base. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, the discovery has been made. Here's the two iron nodes we're going to end up using for more stuff and things. But check this out, man. These coral deals, we can actually harvest these and we get weird resources. Limestone, mycelia, silica, and a bunch of leaves as well. Where's that silica? used in aluminum dude we haven't even got to the aluminum stage yet so we got a decent amount of stuff i gotta go put some of our copper away let's just uh, get that chainsaw out of there but now we can head back to base we can start using biofuel for the time being we might as well do that um making something that can craft up the biofuel i guess we probably should do that as well can i yump up here oh come on let me jump i guess we'll have to come over here or we could build a ramp uh, yoink. All right, so let's pop up over here. Now, I think there's going to be some research that unlocks this for us in the MAM. Let me see. Yeah, right there for mycelia. Let's pop five of those guys in there like so. Research those shrooms, baby. Uh, inside of here, we're going to pop the silica and the mycelia. Uh, we can throw that limestone away. Actually, this copper can go. Wait, I said can go. Put that guy inside of there. 
All right, and then probably we should, yeah. You know what? I was going to put the copper wire in the personal storage, but I know if I put that copper wire in their personal storage, I'll never remember that it's there. So I'm going to run over here, and we're just going to put this away. I want to check and see. We almost flattened out all of our limestone production. Yeah, we got about 100 in the last, yeah, maybe like four minutes. That's not bad. And let's check here. That's not bad. Seven or 850 just about since the last time we were over here. There we go. A little bit more loot right there. All right. So then we could pop back over this way. Like so and like so. We got our mycelia research going on. Is my ship back? So we should probably start doing the next research there too. If we're able to. Let me see what we got going on over here. Oh, it's back right now. 12 seconds. All right. So we can make biomass with leaves, biomass with wood. I think we can actually make... Is there no... Oh, wait. After we research it, I think we can make biomass with mycelia as well. But these guys, we can turn into biofuel, which is a more efficient thing to burn in the biomass burner. The biofuel will work better for us. Pop these guys down into their simple spoons. Uh, conveyor walls. I do want to do this. Let's grab a hundo of those. We only have 90 of those and 250 of those. Let's go grab some more stuff. We'll send this guy off into space. It'd be cool. I, I can't wait to see what the higher end, like what the higher end stuff and things for this game looks like. I wonder if there's like, it'd be so neat if you could like have a storage that links to your storage. So you could have like trans-dimensional storage kind of deal. That'd be really great. So you don't have to run back and grab stuff all the time. The future of, wait, of, of storage, I'm stuck. That'd be really interesting. So I'm very excited. That's why I'm kind of like pushing as fast as I can to the higher tiers. I want to see what these guys are all about. Uh, four more rods. There we go. Conveyor walls. No big whoop, but it is the thing. Um, pop over to here. To optimal use of space, navigation, and tidiness, R&D have developed stairs and conveyor walls. All right. So that unlocked these stairs for us, which we probably won't use very much. It unlocked a ton of conveyor walls that I'm not opposed to using. And I think we'll eventually start building up for sure. But for now, let's just kind of do those things. Uh, I think now we're going to go ahead and make some biomass and create some biofuel. And then I will be our bees, peeps. Okay, check it out. Pop it inside of there. Yoink. And unyoink. Here, we are yoinking and unyoinking. Uh, like so. A yoink. And then a re-yoink. Is it an unyoink or a re-yoink? All right, pop those guys inside of there. And then this guy... Uh, you can go inside of there and then we'll just make a little bit more biofuel with a little bit of biomass that we had right here. So, um, our research deal is back in action. We need 50, 50 and a hundred. That ain't no big thing. We can do that. Overclock production is ready to rock and roll. Now, I don't even know on this playthrough if we found any slimes yet. We haven't done any exploring. But I did decide that I do want to make a biomass area. Um, I think it's going to be important for us to have that. So let's pop over here real quick. I want to set down another line of foundations right here. Oh, yeah. Like so and like so. So the last time we did this with John, I actually did a design... Um, I thought about a different design that we could do that would be a little bit better. So the thing that I'm concerned about, though, is that we might want to on this area. Oh, also, you guys, I think I've been talking about this as, uh, as a separate map. It's not a separate map, actually. Somebody was telling me um, when I was streaming it uh, that it's the same map. It's just a different spawn location. But it's such an alien environment. I just didn't believe that that was the case. Like, I thought it was a completely separate map. So it's pretty cool that it is the same map area. Um... This is not going to be enough space for us over here. We might just leave that where it is. What I think we're going to do is set up maybe right here. All right, let's try this. So logistics, we're going to need a conveyor merger. I'm going to place it back this way and have it output like so. Uh, on that conveyor merger here, we're going to go ahead and set up a production constructor. And I want this to be... Can't afford... What? I need reinforced iron plates. All right. Let's go make some of those battle embrace. Hopefully, we have enough. We can make... Eh, seven. That'll be good. We can make a little bit of concrete. And we can make some screws. 
Dude, I feel like at first when you start playing, you hate the crafting button. And then after a while, I'm like, oh, I could craft this. Oh, I could craft that. Oh, I could. Yeah, anyway. So over here, what we're going to do is try to set up three constructors. Um, one facing. Is this going to be enough space? Probably not. F you. All right, let's move over one deal. Logistics conveyor merger. Like so. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and set up three constructors. So into our production, our constructor. This constructor is going to be like so. Now, the next constructor we're going to place here, but it's going to be backwards. And the other constructor over here will be like this, but it'll be backwards as well. All right. So now we should be able to take our merger and go like so. Go like so. And go like so. Now we're going to set this guy up to make bio fuel. This guy's going to be biomass leaves. And this guy's going to be biomass wood. Like that. Now I think we might need to do a little bit of a redesign already. Once we get the mycelia up and running. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know if we're even going to worry about that too much. So now here under organization. Let's get our containers. Uh, this guy is going to be this way. Let's line it up. Like that. This guy's the same direction right here. Like that. And then this guy flipped around the other way. Are you not lined up? There you go, homie. Like that. These guys like so. Like so. Like so. All right. So that's going to turn our leaves into biofuel. Biomass, pardon me. This is going to turn our wood into biomass. That is going to turn the biomass into biofuel. And all these are going to be facing. You know what I mean? Those go to there. That's where the leaves go. Or the leaves go. Wood goes. Biofuel. Super great. Um... What's next? Power. Now, I feel like we're probably going to have to put up another power deal over here. I don't think we've got enough. Yeah, no way. We're so close. Um, let me go like so. Get into our power. Another biomass burner. Let's turn that around so it looks super sexually attractive and lined up. Uh, another power pull. Maybe just right there. How many lines do you have hooked up? Are you already on a four of four? <gasps> uh, let's do this. Go ahead and grab some biofuel. Only 81 left. Well, good thing that we're going to be making biofuel. Uh, pop it in there. There we go. Increased bio something. Um, now over here, let's go ahead and move some power. I'm feeling like a nice sexy power pole right there would be nice. And another super sexy power pole right there would be great. And here, hook this guy up. That guy up. Then over here, just need the one. Maybe we can line these guys up together. And then this guy bring over four of four. There we go. Like that. Is everybody online? Did it work? Is there power? Is there stuff and things? All right. I'm going to go ahead and clean out my inventory now. And yeah, we've got enough, actually. We've got enough room. I'll grab this guy. I'm going to head out and grab a bunch of stuff and things. Wait, the big tree's gone. Dude, I didn't cut the big tree down. What? Game? There was a huge giant big tree over here. I swear to God, I didn't cut it down. Oh, I don't have any biofuel in order to cut stuff of things down with, lol. Um, I don't know what happened to that tree. I wanted to leave it up for aesthetics. I wanted to leave up these trees over here just because they're pretty. Those trees right there. There was a big giant tree here. Um, and I was kind of going to head backwards, maybe out in that area, so we could still have some fauna and flora making our base beautiful. Um... Yeah, I'm going to grab a bunch of leaves, a bunch of wood. We're going to get this factory online and I will BRB. I swear the big trees are just scared. I think they're scared of the chainsaw. Watch this, guys. See this tree right here? Watch the big tree. Wait, what? It's not working. Last time I did it, I come from like so far away. And the big tree just disappeared. It got super scared. How much wood do we get from this? 28? Dude, that doesn't seem like a lot. How much wood do we get from this? We got 140 leaves and 28 wood. Oh, the game just had a fit. 32 wood. Dude, we got almost much the same amount of wood from a small tree as we did from the big tree. Or the medium tree as the big tree. I guess it also has to do with how many stuff things are around it, right? But still, you'd think you'd get like 500 wood from that big tree right there. How are we doing in our inventory here? Looking pretty good, man. We got a lot of stuff and things here. This is going to be great for our biomass production. I'm very excited about it. 
Also, I feel like we need to explore. This map is so, so cool. There's a part of me, not map, I know, I know, this area of the map. There's a part of me that wants to wait until we get the truck, and then we can just go truck around, and it'll be way easier. Um, especially, we can also get the scanner. I thought on my little trip out here, I might find a slug. Wait, I did find a slug! Wait, oh, this bad guy. <gasps> what the crap is that one? Dude, that guy's high end. Oh, you see this fire stuff? Okay, are you done? Dude, it's like a fireball. Where'd he go? Dude, he disappeared. That dude turned into a fireball, and then he just disappeared, man. So I'm wondering if slugs, there are less slugs. Oh, it's yellow power slug. All right, we don't want to use this guy for research. We want to use him for um, making some things with. There he is, he's back. Okay, Shiza, we got to see how this works. All right, I'm interested. You want to take it to the limit? Circumvent. Straight up your fire! You didn't even know it was coming! Doink! Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Dude, he doesn't know. He's stupid. Ha 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 ha! Oh! Ow! Ow! Oh, he's coming. He's coming. Oh my god! Dude, what? He's running away! Okay, half HPs. Oh, he's doing his thing. He's doing his thing. Uh, maybe we'll take this opportunity to Shiza? Is he stuck? Dude, we did it! Alien organs. Dude, I can't fit any organs. I got too many other stuff and things. I uh, will throw this away. Thank you for your organs. Thank you for your uh, your contribution to the game. Appreciate it, guy. Oh, ladies and gentlemen. Also, dude, there's a crash deal right here behind the base. I didn't even know about it, I don't think. I can't remember if I knew about it or not. Oh, I hear... I thought I heard bad guys, but I think it's just electronics. The crackle of energized electrical cabling. Uh, let's pop back over to our base. Where is this in relation to the base? Okay, kind of behind. Now, first order of business, I want to make sure. I think I set this one for wood, right? Yes. So you can see it's right here. It says there. Wood. All right. So inside of here, let us sort and then yoink, 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 yoink. Wood's coming in. Stuff and things are happening. Biomass is coming out. Feels good, team. Now we'll pop over to this storage. Leaves, leaves, leaves. Like so. Leaves are coming out. Leaves are going in. Ten leaves makes... Wait, six biomass. Ninety per minute. These numbers are so interesting. Because they're all different. 375 biomass per minute. Holy crap, dude. What's the way to go? So this guy's actually creating the biofuel. And there it is. Filtering into the storage. Nailed it. Ace the can't be stopped. We already have six. Feels good. Team! All right. This guy's up and running. It's unbelievable and amazing. You know the other thing I think I might do real quick, though? Over inside of here. Logistics. Organization. Let's put a lookout tower up, man. I want to be able to see what's going on in the base. So I'm going to pop this guy maybe right back over here. Nice. Very nice. Let's have a look up here and see what we can see. Turn our flashlight off. Look at that, man. Perfect view of stuff and things. Way nicer view of the base. Look how much space we have now, too. It's amazing. Can you see any slugs from here? A lot of times they're up on the top of ridges. Ridges? Ridges and stuff like that. I actually don't see any over here. Now, if we pop down here, I think... Yeah, you do take damage falling off of there. Let's pop it here and see if we have any more research in the MAM. The yellow power slug. I don't think we want to use this. Dude, I don't this know. This mycelia can be used to create fabrics. The derived blueprint is now accessible in Hub Tier 1. Additionally, R&D has requested extra samples to determine the cause of an anomaly. All right. We're going to grab these leaves. That wood. We're putting this in there. Let's grab our mycelia out. We're going to go ahead and do the mycelia research first. Let's pop that inside of here. Start that research. Go back into this guy. Let's get this organized to touch. You can go. You can go. You can go. 
All right, and then we can just pop this little bit of wood. Like, this really matters. You could probably just throw it away, but I'll stick it in there. Pop that little bit of wood, and we'll pop this little bit of leaves in there, like so. Already up to 58. I think we're going to need more, though. Um, but, yeah, okay. So, in addition to all of those things, remember, we can always be doing research. This is just some nut research. So, here, take some of my nuts. Take my nuts to space. Take my nuts to space, space deal. The nuts are loading in right now. You can't see it, but I know it's happening. Very exciting. Three nuts are now been placed inside of it. Four nuts have gone inside. Are you gonna go? Are you not taking my nuts to space? Dude, it did take my nuts to space. What a freaking chip. I can't even believe this. I wanted to be the first guy with his nuts in space. What was that? Did you see the fist? New parts. Dude, I've never seen the fist before. I think that's the finish of tier one, probably. So that's the fabric. Uh, we can make those guys now. We're now we're in, into tier two. So the assembler, rotors, and modular frames. Select that guy. We need a lot of parts for it. Um, I think I'm actually going to go out and get some more biomass real quick. I want to make sure we have a lot of this being produced. So I'm going to go ahead and, especially since I have a clear inventory, to go out and gather some of that. And I'll be our beat with you. Yoink. All right, green power slug has been gotten. Huge amounts of bio stuff and things have been gotten. Put this loud guy away and head back over here to our base. Oh, hello, nuts. Dude, I wish you could have gone to space, nuts. I feel like that would have been amazing. Um, also, I can't remember exactly where that crash deal is. I thought it was, like, right here. But I'm feeling like the base is right here. Dude, wasn't this right where the crash was? Like, right back here? Let's pop over here and see. Is it right there? All right. Let me see what's going on with this. I have a bunch of the biomass that we needed, a bunch of the leaves and wood, but I want to see what we need in order to play with this guy right here. Not enough space. There's three computers. There's some cable. Cool. So there's like actual resources here. Encased industrial beams. More encased industrial beams. Open the drop pod. Repairs needed. So it looks like I need four rotors in order to make that happen. And I'm pretty sure that is possible right now. So let's pop back over here to our base. Um, I'll tell you what. I'm going to pop back to the base. I'm going to put all of the biomass um, or all the leaves and wood into our biofuel production facility. Then I'm going to make the rotors. I'm going to head back over there and open that pot up. Okay, just made up some cable. I think I can't make the rotors yet. To be honest with you, until we unlock this guy, 500 of those, 100 of those guys, part assembly. Is that it? Milestone unlocked. Milestone reached. There they New are, right there. Assembly of parts can now be automated. There's four. So the rotors are ready to rock and roll. A lot of ours, and now we can pop up here and grab all those advanced resources too. Was it, what, what was it? The reinforced iron beams. Um, some stuff that we haven't even seen yet. Computers? Let's go ahead and grab these guys back over here in the secret deal. Alright, here we go. Sexy computers. Feels good, team. Encased industrial beams. Uh, none of these little guys are able to be picked up. Doesn't look like there's anything over here. We'll grab that guy. Seven motors. Some more encased industrial beams. And I think that's it. Now, I've never opened one of these before in any playthrough. We're going to go ahead and do that. Dude, what is it? A hard drive with fisted data. Analyze it in the MAM. Oh, in the MAM to salvage its contents. Cool, man. Sexy hard drive stuff and things. Can we put, like, random materials in there? Oh, neat. <laughs> like, you'd never want to, but it's interesting that you can. So, um, motors, computers, encased industrial beams, and a sexy hard drive that we can research in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for coming to hang out with me today. I hope you had a great time. We uh, increased some performance of our, our facilities. We did the lookout tower. where We built a biofuel production facility. Um, we got a bunch of that. Look at this, man. Deforestation is real. And uh, we're ready to rock and roll on to bigger and better things. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure if you like the video, please don't forget, show your support and smash the thumbs up button. Huge shouts to everybody who supports the channel on Patreon slash Slipgator. Uh, appreciate you guys very much and may the stuff and things be with you.